If you ever want to run a workspace, a environment which is isolated, as well as host your code where you can run your experimentation to all the coding environment stuff as your code environment, then you might have heard about code spaces, Gitpod. But there are a couple of limitations over there, which you must be aware of before you go and use it. First, there are vendor lock-in. So you're locked in with their specific cloud as well as specific IDs at most of the times, which doesn't help as you want your workloads to move. Secondly, most of them don't have GPU support. So if you are using some AIML workload, you're just limited by the fact. Here come solutions like Codespaces alternative called DevPod, which was launched last year and is growing humongously on adoption. It's an open source code space alternative, as we told, and it's a client side tool. So in this video, we will understand how DevPod can be helpful and how you can create a Docker in Docker setup with it. So you can run your Docker workloads inside DevPod and build your applications. So before we get started, we must go and install DevPod. It's a, it's a client side tool. So you can just go and click on download DevPod. And as I have it already installed, so I won't do the same. And I will just go and open DevPod. So as you see, the DevPod instance is up. And it is an app on your machine. So here you can see a couple of things. The workspace is your coding environments and the providers are how you link to the infrastructure. Suppose you want to host your workloads on Azure, you can link Azure using the provider. In this demo, we will use the Docker provider. So let's go into GitHub where our instructions as a file is hosted. Depford is powered by devcontainer.json. Devcontainer.json is a standard which defines what your workspace will be. Here we will deploy a simple Python application workspace, just a Python environment with a Docker in Docker feature. So to do that, it's very simple. You can just open Depford and go to workspace and then go and click on create workspace. Here you can use a folder like your local path a git repository which we will use or an image like your python docker image or something like that. So as this is a git repository we will go and select this. Let's copy this and paste it over here. As we see this is in a folder we will just go and mention this folder using the advanced subfolder option. So it is a docker in docker. Next is we will click on the docker provider and select our featured ID. After that, we will just go and click on create workspace. So it will just do all the magic behind the scenes. And in a couple of minutes, you will see that your docker environment is running. And as you see, your VS Code environment is linked and up. And now just let's give the permission to it. And in a couple of seconds, you have an isolated workspace in which you can run all your application, build your application and share it. So let's wait till the server is installed. We can just go and experiment with the Docker terminals. So if you see here, we have a Docker command. And if you want to experiment and run some commands like docker run nginx, it will just find the image at first, pull it, and then you can see it will just uh, run this. So as you can see, it's running right now. And once you are done, you can just go and delete this over here, and your workspace will be cleaned. There is also one another way. If you want to just open the folder in DevPod, you can just click on open in DevPod over here and give open in DevPod permissions. And you can just go and click on create workspace and your workspace will be running. So I hope you learned something from this video on how you can run a Docker instance in your DevPod as well as there is this open source repository where you can contribute to your own templates. If you are interested in some specific templates, feel free to comment them and we will upload those over here. And there is our community Slack where you can join if you have any specific doubts or any questions. The link is in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe.